It is true that in most of the country of Uganda, we don't have just safe water. We get our water in swamps, we get our water in open wells, and it's just too difficult that many Africans are suffering from diseases uh, like cholera, typhoid, dysentery, diarrhea. It is just too much. But right now, as the community are receiving the, the CPU, this is reducing, it reduces, and the sickness as also like cholera and the diarrhea, dysenteries uh, are reducing. That's much of Africa, they're just drawing water out of rivers and streams. And many of those people are living in uh, mud huts, grass roofs, in uh, local old family compounds still. Uh, and going and carrying water from sometimes a swamp or a stream. Sometimes they have a, a well nearby they can draw water from or, uh, or a river, some of them. Since 2007, when we got to the first unit, it has helped us a lot here in Kenya and Uganda. The way we produce chlorine is simple. We only use table salt, the water that we have to produce chlorine for treating our waters. So we find that it's a very easy way of producing chlorine. We find that it's a very good way of getting chlorine without spending. In fact, before we got this chlorine, we have been spending a lot of money in hospitals. Like in my village, in my Indi area, the rate of infection of waterborne disease was so high, around 90%. Up to now, as I am speaking to you, it's lowered up to 20%. So chlorine is doing a lot of work and it has come, become to, on a demand. People want to know, people want to be taught about chlorine. This has made a very wonderful way for us to reach so many people. We are almost covering the whole Kenya. We have traveled in so many areas. Uh, we have seen that there are so many people uh, just being staying without taking clean water, and their lives are really going very bad. We go house to house, teaching people the word of God, and also about treating water and drinking safe and clean water in their houses. So now I've seen very big changes and demand for the chlorine. And because in our schools also they were affected, children were drinking very dirty water. But now some schools that we have provided with units, they have drawn that, they draw that water and they treat and they take. The teachers say that they have seen very, very many changes that happening in the in their children because their performance also is improving in our schools that we have given the units. So the people now there is no complaint. The children they have no complaint. Even their parents they have heard that story. They have that, heard that testimony from the children, and they are very happy to see that their children are learning and they are being taken care of properly and they also appreciating soon a uh, swim for this uh, good ministry and help that they have given. So many of them, they are requesting us to reach them. What we do when we go into these villages and communities, we usually are working, trying to work with the church or pastor in a community to, uh, in order to enable their church body to uh, give them a means to reach out to the community. So when we reach in the community, we start teaching about clean water, how to keep hygiene in the community, in the family, how we can protect ourselves from diseases like typhoid, dysentery. Afterward, we tell them how to make chlorine. After making strong chlorine, according to the quantity of water we have, then we shall put this chlorine into one jerry can. We shall get also a tester to check whether the chlorine we have put in the jerry can is just enough. 
when the color of the tester will change to be yellow, that shows that the chlorine we have put in our jelly can is just enough. Once we're done, we'll take questions and try to answer the questions for them and uh, go through it again with them and try to get them comfortable with it. And then we ask them to have a few people come up and uh, demonstrate how to make chlorine on their own and let them do it. And so they, we know they're comfortable with it and they know how to do it. And they're able to be the teachers from then on out for their community, their village, and for their people. Most of the communities where we've given CPUs, there are places around the lake shores. We have also reached the islands where people get water direct from the, the lake and then they use it. We have visited the places that stay around the swamps where their water is so bad. The places where they have been having challenges with the typhoid, dysentery and the diarrhea. With having CPU around that community, when you get back to ask them how do you feel now after using chlorine. The results and the information they tell you is very amazing. Before the CPUs were distributed in our community, there was a great challenge of sicknesses, waterborne diseases that affected a lot of people. And uh, so many people were not even able to treat their beloved ones and so many people were really having such a challenge of typhoid, cholera, and many other related diseases. Since we received the CPUs, people began to drink safe water, safe clean water, and their lives and families enjoy today. Swim is doing very big job for us here in Africa because now we are eliminating waterborne diseases through chlorine, treating water, and this water is used in everything that we use in our homes. So we have something that we have to uh, appreciate, we have something that we have to talk about it. This is quite good for us and we appreciate so much. God bless all of us. Now God bless you, and God bless everybody who has given, even has sent one coin to encourage us in Africa. One church in particular took up a Christmas offering, a, a large offering of over $5,000, and, and David and I were kind of comparing notes and, and seeing how many people that we have reached on this trip just with the water projects we've done. And a good estimate is close to 5,000 people, which means that for every dollar given, there was a one person that was reached with uh, safe water, one person that that uh, had the love of Christ expressed to them, had the chance to uh, became become saved and be a part of the church. So that's a that's a pretty exciting thing that uh, for each dollar you give, one person can be reached. It's exciting for the, the Ugandans and Kenyans also to know that people back home uh, in the States, they'll never get to come over here, they'll never get to see what's being done, and yet they willingly give the funding to help people that they'll never meet. I want to appreciate God for connecting us to people who are like you. This is a big blessing to us. So I just want to appreciate you so much. Those of you who commit on donating some funds, some help or anything, I appreciate you so much. I'm actually so glad to see that our people are loved. We just request your friends to continue doing this because you are saving many lives of people in Uganda. Join us, continue to help us. We are still in need of clean water. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.